congratulations. Thank on you so Dreamland. much. Thank you. I appreciate you just it. Just kind of came through the ruckus of the. Yeah, all the shining ball. lights. Some kind of like wow. Yeah. Describe what it felt like to, to just walk through that. It's nice, you know. It's, there's a real buzz around. People are really excited about the film. Um, I'm nervous for everyone to see it, and I'm excited for everyone to see it. So uh, no, it's it's good. It's, it's also fun to pose for a bunch of different cameras. Uh, hopefully, they've got one good one. I don't know. We'll see. Then what was it that drew you to play this character? Um, there was a there was a really beautiful innocence in the character when I, on on the first read that I wanted to explore, and that. Um, that journey that he goes on into manhood was something that you know I, I did not too long ago, and I think that that's a really, really wonderful story. Um, and how he fell in love, and how uh, you know things have things changed in his life. And I, uh, you know, ultimately, it's that character that, that I wanted to follow and I wanted to explore. And, um, and then after meeting Miles and Margot and the team that were involved, I was you know convinced that this was going to be a really exciting project. And, um, and I hope everyone else thinks the same. And you play a complex character who goes through this transformation. What were some of the struggles that you faced playing um, the character? I had to lose a bit of weight. That's never really fun. Um, I think we wanted to, you know, make it as realistic as possible that these people were living in in poverty to a certain extent. Um, but yeah, the, the, the struggles really come from, uh, we're really kind of eradicated in the rehearsal period. You know, you look at those scenes in the script and they're complicated and they're layered and, and finding those layers can be hard and finding that identity can be hard from the off. But as soon as, I always say, as soon as I get the haircut and as soon as I get the costume, then I have a much better sense of the character. And, and that happened and, and on the first day of shooting I felt like I was in the right place. So um, yeah, those first couple of weeks of prep are really important for me. And Dreamland is going to be screened here at the 18th Annual Tribeca Film Festival. Um, talk about the fit between the film and being screened here and the Tribeca audience. Yeah, I mean, there are so many great projects here every year. And, um, I, you know, it's an honor to be able to come and show our film here and, and, and kind of be up with all of those other fantastic films. So I'm, I'm stoked to be here. It's my first ever film festival. It's the first one I've been to, um, so I'm really, really grateful to be invited, and I, uh, I'm excited to see what's about. Unfortunately, I have to get back and back back on set tomorrow, so I, I can't stay for long. But um, no, it's a really, really special moment, and I'm just grateful for everyone who supported the film and um, is continuing to support our film because it's, there's a very special place in our hearts for that for that project, and we're really excited for people to see it. You know.